Hey everyone, give me an update on what's going on. I got some more parts in and with those parts in I can get more things done at this point. Um, got my cash out bolter here. Um, I got my, my gaskets for my timing and my um, water pump. And by the way, I took it off already. And got my harness for my e fans. Got my spring compressors right here. Camp chair container. So I can get a lot of things done at this point. The only thing that did not come in and it's lost in transit right now is my crank bolt yeah i wanted to upgrade the crank bolt but right now it's lost in, in transit so i got to get that taken care of and maybe get another one in but for the moment that's what i'm doing right now i'm not giving you a tutorial because there's a lot of a lot of good tutorials out there on the change cam um but for now i'm going to show you my progress Took my crank bolt it was kind of in there i had to uh Use a cheater bar just to get it out, but I got it. I used the impact bait, this is what's not budging. But there we go. All right, guys, give me a little bit and I'll get the rest of it off. Maybe I can get more done. Hey, guys, I'm about halfway through with the can swap. Just the can swap, I haven't done the spring yet. And it's getting scarier, guys. Getting totally scarier. I um, never mentioned this, but this is my first can swap. Um, I've done more custom work outside, like the body and also uh this is actually the first time i actually get into the engine um but yeah here we go guys so i got the harmonic balancer off finally as a pain in the butt um i use the three call three claw puller set and it's kind of difficult but i got it off um uh, where is it uh, ah here we go this is the old crank bolt. Um, it helped to get it out as much as I could, but I went ahead and got another bolt slightly longer and it helped to get the rest of it out. Right now what I'm gonna do is probably clean that up a little bit and then go ahead and open it up and see what else I can do at the moment. So guys, I got the cam inside the truck. Um, it went pretty easily. We lubed it up a lot with the semi lube and it went pretty smoothly um got my valve covers off right now because i did run into an issue um how do i say this uh one of the rockers wasn't hidden like on there correctly so it was creating um how do i say like a beveled edge on the rod um is it this one look at it sorry guys I can't remember what it is, but one of the rods is uh, a little wasted on one side, so that means the rocker was was hitting it wrong. Um, I am going to go ahead and order new rockers and get them installed. That way I can finish up this project on the motor already. Um, but for now, I'm going to go ahead and clean these off. That way when I restore them, they're nice and clean. I did get some new parts. So 
some exhaust clamps and I heard these are actually better because they still lit up a little better so I had used some of the other ones last time on my other exhaust and I still had a lot of uh, this uh, exhaust uh, leaks in it was just annoying and then I went ahead and ordered this one comes from Speed Engineering it's uh, the whole exhaust kit from the headers to about the X-pipe because it does have the X-pipe and it has some other fittings to fit um, it's a little bit easier this way because the last time I had to weld my own pieces and it was a pain in the butt but this time I got this I am going to make some modifications because I got to fit the cutouts and I am going with uh, high flow caps on this one as well um, my mufflers haven't come in yet. I ordered some SLP loudmouth, so hopefully they come in soon. But other than that, that's it for the moment. Hopefully I can turn this on soon. I'm anxious about it already. That's why I just to get it running. And my harmonic balancer bowl still hasn't come in. It's lost in transition. So I gotta figure out if I'm gonna get another one or what. So, all right guys, this is it for the moment. Um, Gonna keep on trying to get this running. Thanks guys.